hi friends in this uh, video we'll go ahead and look into the uh, server architecture internal server architecture of uh, the web logic how the web logic is uh, designed what are the different uh, server architecture uh, which is available there what are the different components which are available there so just uh, to give an overview first let's go and uh, talk about the different uh, uh, components which are there in a domain so whenever you create a domain you will have one admin server and a configuration file will be stored along with that uh, and a configuration file will be stored along with that so this configuration file will be your uh, config.xml file in which all the configuration for your domain will be available there and uh, then uh, you could have uh, multiple machines your domain could be spread across multiple machines and you could have a vertical or, or horizontal cluster of managed servers so in this diagram there are uh, three machines which are configured on which our web logic domain my domain has been configured so machine m1 m2 and m3 and on each of the machine there is a node manager process which is uh, mainly used to start and stop the servers remotely and from your admin console you will be able to start and stop if the node manager process is up and running on all the uh, all the machines where where your domain is and then you have different uh, servers x uh, y and z are in a cluster abc and uh, abc are in a another cluster my cluster and server x is a standalone uh, uh, managed server so this is just a domain structure so your domain can be uh, in this way or it can have multiple more machines and uh, we mainly use pack and unpack command to create this uh, distributed uh, environment in which multiple machines are involved and uh, the cluster which is spread across two or more machines it is formed as a horizontal cluster so now we'll go inside one of the managed servers and see how Manage server X, Y or A, B, C will receive the request and how it will process the request or how it will fulfill my request. So once we, so this is the internal server architecture of our uh, uh, admin or managed servers, whatever server you can take. So the first thing is that they have the listen port. So when you configure your web logic admin or managed servers, you will provide them a listen port that is the 7001 for admin server and 7002 for the SSL listen port so uh, listen port means all the HTTP T3 or all the non-secure protocols will be listening on this listen port and then you have SSL listen port on which all the uh, SSL uh, communication will be established so SSL communication will be HTTPS T3S so if you want to see uh, then you can go to your uh, server when you have started what are the different uh, protocol which it uh, it is going to receive so you can see here uh, on uh, this is uh, these are the different protocols so on 7001 you can see it is listening on IIOP, T3, LDAP, SN, SNMP and HTTP so these are the protocols which are being listened on port 7001 in the same way if 7002 has been configured you can see IIOPS T3S, LDAPS and HTTPS so the, the port 7002 will be listening for uh, these protocol IIOPS, T3S, LD, LDAPS and HTTPS so all secure communication will go through the port uh, 7002 or whatever port you have configured it is not like 7001 and 7002 for managed servers these port will be different so the port will be different so I am just showing the protocols which it will be listening so the first thing is whenever any request comes in for any server uh, or to any server any managed server so it will either go either come on listen port uh, uh, or SSL listen port so you will be configuring the listen port uh, the port number either 8001 7001 whatever number is there so in case of uh, my web let me show you what is the port number which we have configured in our uh, domain so you can see here let me go to servers so 7001 is the http port 7005 is the http port for managed server 1 7004 is the http port for managed server 2 now if i go inside managed server 1 
and you can see SSL listen port 8005 is the SSL listen port for managed server 1 in the same way for S, uh, for MS2 let me check so 7000 so SSL has not been configured for this so if I have to configure then in that case I have to give a unique uh, port number 8006 so any port number which is available you can give it there is no restriction that you have to give 8006 7006 so now all the requests on uh, HTTPS will be listening on for managed server 2 will be listening on 8006 and all the HTTP, T3 all those protocols will come on 7004 port number so uh, now let me let's go inside so the listen port are the first thing where the request will be will land so listen port uh, will receive the request which are coming from uh, any of the application so these listen port uh, they will just receive it and then they have a specified thread that is called the listen threads so these listen threads what is their role is whatever request comes on listen port uh, as and when it comes it will uh, be transferred from listen port to the socket mixer using this listen thread so listen thread is uh, again http based all the http based uh, uh, request will be handled by listen thread and all the https type of request will be handled by ssl listen threads so these listen threads uh, they don't they the work of these listen threads are just to uh, whatever uh, request has been received on the listen port they just carry that request from listen port to the socket mixer so they carry the request from a listen port to the to the socket mixer so uh, if it is a http type of request then uh, it will be listen thread if it is a https type of uh, type of request then it will be a ssl listen thread so the, the only work of these threads are to move the request from listen port to the listen thread so any request which comes on your 7001 listen thread li on listen port 7001 listen thread will take that request and hand that request to the socket mixer so any request which comes on 7002 port number SSL listen thread will take that request and hands it over to the socket mixer. So now socket mixer is the uh, another bunch of uh, threads. What the socket mixer will do is they will receive the uh, incoming request and they will read off the request. They will now start reading the request. What is the request and what it, this request needs. So the socket mixer will read the first few uh, first few parameters of a request which has came in and based on that it will determine which protocol it is uh, and what is the what type of resource it is requesting and then what it will do it will just read the first few lines and then it will put that request into the execute queue. So this is the execute queue in which all the requests which comes on your managed servers will be will be kept so now if 10 requests like uh, if 10 people are accessing your application want to ap uh, access your application the request all the requests will come to through listen port listen thread will give it to the socket mixer socket mixer will read that and put it in the uh, execute queue so queue is first in first out as uh, so it means the first request which comes in will be served first the second request which comes in thus it will be it will be served next so uh, all the requests uh, from the socket mixer will be put across into the execute queue so this is a queue of a request where all the requests coming for that particular application will be will be kept and the main working threads that those are execute thread so these are the uh, these are the threads which will be uh, internally in a managed servers or in admin server these are the things which will be working and they will be serving our request so if the so each each of the execute uh, request execute request which are kept in the execute queue there they will be assigned to a execute thread and these execute threads based on the request if it requires a servlet ejb jdbc connection whatever uh, it requires it will do that work and then hand over the same and uh, it will complete the request and process the request and then send back the request through socket mixer listen thread to listen port and from listen port to the to the uh, to the out application so this is the internal uh, architecture server architecture of our managed servers or admin server so again so the listen port is the first point of entry for any request which comes in 
listen ports so there are listen threads so the uh, the only work of listen threads are to carry the request from listen port to the socket mixer so socket mixer is the first step of uh, analyzing these uh, request they it will analyze the request it will read if what is the protocol where it has to go if it is a valid request or not all those things will be verified at a socket mixer level and then the socket mixer will put that request in the execute queue and then in the execute queue one by one the request will be picked up by the execute threads and based on the requirement the threads will work execute and then they will provide us the output so in real terms if you have if we have to tell which is the real working horse of a managed server so execute threads are the real working horse which work for us and they do the they complete our request whatever is requested so execute threads are the one which work for us and serve our request on a high level note we say that managed server is the one which uh, is working and serving my request but if you want to go internally then it will be execute threads which are the one they are the one they internally uh, execute the code and then they provide us the output whatever is seen on it on our uh, which whatever is seen on our uh, browser so whatever we have requested the request are being uh, executed in one on one fashion so hope you are able to understand the internal server architecture of uh, a admin or managed servers listen thread listen ports socket mixer execute queues and execute threads and then execute threads are the one which will go inside the application container and then find out what is happening and what what request has been raised and then it will uh, execute that part of the code and then serve you back hope uh, you have got this point we'll meet in the next class thank you